As a Christian, you should live in the highest way possible, and that is daily to live in joy. And when you do, you realize that that attitude of mind multiplies. That attitude of mind becomes a habit that you live within. In Psalms 40, verse 16, it says, But may all who seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. I pray this weekend, not some far off time, right now time, that you overflow with joy, you overflow with gladness. I pray that you have an overflow from the fountainhead of joy within you. Some people that you know just seem to overflow with joy and gladness all the time, even in times of meeting and overcoming challenges. Well, what is their secret? They put God first every day of their lives by turning to God in prayer and meditation. They realize they are not alone. They realize they don't have to face everything alone. And in so doing, they have found the fountainhead of all joy within. They meet their challenges with wisdom and courage, and they let joy quietly rise from within to absolutely overflowing. And it overflows on the circumstances of their life, on the people that come in contact with them. Let us also, in this sacred time, turn within in prayer and receive from God. As we seek God first, the result will be an overflowing of joy, an overflowing of gladness. In tapping a limitless wellspring of joy and gladness, we're given strength and we're given courage that will carry us through all experiences. Today, we put God first and then we relax in the flow of joy and gladness. We let our joy overflow and we find that we're an uplifting influence wherever we are. And I pray that for you, that as you go forward in life, you can let your light shine in that way by letting your joy be an uplifting influence to everyone.